Welcome to the overview of WP Content Pilot and its pro features. Please follow some easy steps to learn how this whole thing works. The most significant part of the campaign is setting up the API key. Without the API setup, content will not be fetched. To set up the YouTube API key, go to setting. You will find a placeholder to set your API. Click on the link. If you do not know how to set the API, learn how to get one. Go through the whole procedure mentioned step by step in our page. When you get your API and API is set, you are on your way to seize your desired posts. To start a new campaign, select Add New. Fill out the title of a new campaign. Campaign Target gives you an opportunity to set up to 5,000 posts at once. You can also control how many posts to be synced in days, hours or in minutes and can choose the campaign frequency. You must have to set the status active to make the campaign run. In the campaign options, your intended keyword will give you a drop-down suggestion which helps you to dig deeper to read through. Put up your derived suggestion into the keywords field. You can choose YouTube search order, video duration, video type, video definition, video licensing and video category. You can also configure your posts more distinctly. By selecting options given here, you can easily arrange the way you want your post to be shown. In post setting, you can set post categories and set tags here. Let's run the campaign and see what happens. A post is created. Let's check it out. You can see a video has been pulled with other course of action from YouTube in our website. In the post template, you will have options to choose what to show with the video in the site. For example, you can set content, total number of views and many more options from the supported tags very easily. You can see this post has category and number of total views published on the site. You can even set the title for your desired section in the template box. From the post setting you are able to change post type. Let's change the type post to page and see what happens. Here we can see another new relevant page has appeared as you updated the campaign. You can set your published post to private. Let's give a check if the post has changed to private or not. Setting up the post to draft. You can see there's another post saved as a draft. You can keep your post pending as well. This new post is the most recent measure to our campaign. Now let's see what we can do with the pro version of the plugin. You can see all the pro features are open to use now. In the post setting now you can set keywords to category and tags. Let's filter post from the post filter section. In advanced settings you will find options to replace search words and meta post keys. The word and meta keys will be replaced at the post end. Let's set the excerpt length to 15 and clean the title. It will restrict the longer title to 10 words. You can see the word has been replaced in the post. There you can also find several options that you want to show in your posts. Just choose them according to your need. You will see the category and tag chosen earlier on the post. You can check source URL, target to blank and relation nofollow are set from inspect element. These options can be selected from here. 
Now go to the translation part in the advanced setting. Let's set Arabic. Again, update and run the campaign. You will see a post is successfully created and translated with an Arabic title. You can also set the permalink to the source site. Set make the permalink to the source site. Here you can see a post with Arabic title. This post is taking us directly to the source site. You can even post YouTube videos from a specific channel. Remember to set the playlist ID as well. Check what portion of URL you need to copy from the YouTube URL to the playlist field. Let's check on the site with the same playlist ID. I hope this video will help you to sum up the idea about WP Content Pilot and WP Content Pilot Pro. Thank you, see you on the next video.